first dish we'd like to taste belongs to... Carmen. When I hear my name being called out, I'm really, really happy because I know I had a good cook and now the judges think my dish is worthy of tasting. Well, that looks all right, doesn't it? <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that smile. No, I haven't. You happy? <laughs> yeah, I'm very happy. Yeah? There are elements I would like to make better, but overall, I'm very happy with my cook. Good on you. And what's the dish? The dish is a maple crumbed lemon myrtle parfait with goat's cheese sponge and maple caramel. Mm. Looks really, really good. Really cool, doesn't it? Mm. Yeah. More good consistency. Ooh, look at that. I really like that as an idea. I think it's lovely. What a beautiful dessert. Beautiful because the flavour of lemon myrtle just kind of wafts across the whole thing. Beautiful because there's enough parfait to balance the amount of crumb and the amount of sponge. I think you've done a beautiful job, Carmen. It's a pleasure to say welcome to the competition. Thank you. Putting that dish aside, whatever the result, you know, you should be proud that you're in the top five and use this, you know? Yeah. Use this confidence to keep pushing every single day. Well done, Carmen. Thank you. It feels really nice to have a positive moment. If I can do this, then I can go very far in this competition. Next up... Come. <laughs> Walking out with my dish, and this is the best feeling that I've had so far. I'm so hoping that that foam is what I wanted. Finally. Finally, you get chosen to taste, huh? Beautiful. I felt like I was a bit cleaner today, both spirit and mind. So I'll get some of this out and let's... Here we go. Let's hope that it's worked. Ooh, look at that. Good stuff. So, Con, what's the dish? Today I've done a cauliflower salad with a maple foam. Happy? Yeah, my thoughts today were to keep it simple. Con, well done. I'm getting into the top five. Hopefully this is your flag in the sand and Con's here and I love the presentation. Really pretty as a picture. For me, the letdown is the foam. I don't like yep. it. It tastes eggy. Yeah, fair call, absolutely. Great concept, but one small cog out of whack in the machine, and it's just derailed this dish for me. Well Thank done, you very Good much, stuff, James. Thank well you. I feel like I've got a lot to take away from this cook. The fact that I did a few things right, it's nearly there. Day by day, we get better, we grow, we learn. Next up, Heather. I can't believe the judges have just called my name out. My hands are shaking. I'm so surprised and nervous. I just hope they like the taste of my dish. Look at that. That's a bit different to what <laughs> Gary and I were seeing <laughs> yeah. when we came and visited you. Yeah. What have you cooked? I did a maple and coconut crusted squid with a pickled cauliflower and a lemon myrtle vinaigrette. Looks crispy and crunchy. I'm salivating. Yeah, it looks absolutely yeah. delicious. But, but, but also, that, there's something lovely about combining golden fried crispiness with something as pristine and simple and pure as that pickled cauliflower. Yeah. And I think the combination of the two is there's something... It, it's very simple, you know? You probably... There are other people who have done way more things on a plate, but that just stands out as being a cracking dish. Do we need knives and forks? Can we use our fingers? You can definitely use your fingers. <laughs> What you put together is a, a comforting, warming, and a dish that makes us all lick our fingers and make us happy. <laughs> well done. Thank you so much. Yeah. You put some clever twists in there, and the crunch is absolutely second to none. First of all, captivated by that golden brown, and then you get crunch from the squid and crunch from that lovely fresh cauliflower. 
you've really hero those ingredients in the mystery box. So for me, that's a hard dish to beat. Well done. Brilliant Thank stuff, you so Heather. Much. Welcome to MasterChef. Thank you. Thank you. George saying welcome to MasterChef gives me so much validation. This is huge and it feels so good. Next up, Matt. I'm stoked. I'm in the mix again. It's another opportunity to start this week strong, so here we go. Gee, Matt, you have become Captain Consistency, haven't you? Every time you cook, you put up something tasty, and this dish looks like it's no exception. Well done. Tell us about it. So it's a coconut salt squid with some charred cauliflower and okra, some pickled collie, and a coconut caramel. Is there something creamy there for us to dredge that crunchy squid through? I, I didn't go with anything creamy. I, I wanted the base to be almost like a salad, sort of have that refreshing crunch to it. This could be the battle of the crunchies, isn't it? I mean, Heather's just brought us up a beautiful, crunchy squid, and you've done the same. I'm torn. I don't know that's which right. one I prefer. That's all right. Because they're both tasty, and that's the positive, yeah? Yeah, absolutely. Freshness of the cauliflower, that, that really crusty, crunchy crumb around that um, squid is wonderful. Wow. It's going to be an interesting little discussion after this, isn't it? Thanks, boys. cooking well at the moment, but chasing the perfect dish, it's like chasing the perfect wave. You know, is it, is it ever really there? The last dish we'd like to taste... ..belongs to Anastasia. I feel stoked. I just can't believe it. Like, it's a shock. It would be absolutely amazing if I can win this today. Anastasia, what is it? is torched maple syrup squid with roasted cauliflower in a lemon myrtle butter and pickled okra. I'll tell you what, it looks, looks amazing. But all, all that gold and just with a little, just drawn to those that, little bits of green, that, yeah. That, it's like, ooh. Yeah, but, yeah, but it's that combined with that and then yeah. that little fresh bit of green, it's... I think you it's, can plate up and it says, yeah, well, that's beautiful. for sure. Good. And that looks cooked yeah. perfectly, you know? Absolutely love it. I do. Ah, oh, yum. Beautiful, subtle flavours of maple syrup, this kind of little scorchy glaze on the calamari, and that sweetness from the cauliflower. It's like, do I need to put something else on the plate? Absolutely not. Delicious. I love the fact that, you know, with the dish that you put up and Heather's put up and Matt's put up, Matt's is the dirty, filthy, ugly, kind of yum yuck type of dish that we love. Heather's is that kind of dish that you cry for a pint of beer with. But this is pure elegance. It's a really clever dish, and while I'm eating it, I'm sort of I'm questioning it. I feel like I'm sitting in a restaurant, and I want to go in and say hello to the chef at the end. Um, that is really yummy. Well done. Thank you. That's so nice to hear. I'm just really, really happy that they loved it. It means that I'm doing something right, which is good. <laughs> It comes down to the five of you, and we have to pick the winner of the Viewer's Choice Mystery Box, who will get an advantage going into the next round, the Invention Test. Hard to pick because we've had some great dishes, but there's one dish that just we kept coming back to, we kept thinking about... Anastasia's dish. I didn't expect that. I didn't expect that at all. It's awesome. <laughs>